Hey guys, Scott here. Um, I thought I'd just give you an update with the video since uh, I haven't done one in a while and taking the pictures and uploading them and writing to the form is just takes more time and I kind of need to put my time into this right now. Um, since my last update, I've gotten a few other things done. Um, the steering here, I built this steering block. Uh, the idea here was to make it adjustable both up and down, and it's pretty tight right now, but you can move it up and down some. Um, and also in and out. Uh, this little piece right here is a quick latch collar. I'm kind of embarrassed to say how much I paid for. This is over 30 bucks. But it's the only thing I could find like it. It's made out of aluminum. It's, it's a nice piece. And it made it so that I could adjust this in and out and have one collar to clamp and then keep it in position. These pieces here are two uh, heavy bushings, three-quarter ID. And then these are five-eighths ID by three-quarter flanged bronze bushings. And these are some bronze <clears throat> um, machine bushings here to just get this spaced out so I had room to work with it. This is quarter inch plate here. These are two heavy three eighths bushings. It was a really heavy wall stuff, so it made it sturdy and it made it easy to weld to. Uh, this here is a oh, one of the shock mounts I got from BMI Carts. I just cut it half and tacked them on there. Um, and I have a three eighths bolt going all the way through. And my idea here is I'm just going to use a lock washer to kind of create some tension. Um, so this can still be moved up and down. This hole here, right here, is so that I can uh, make a brace up to the frame. Here to here. And that'll be adjustable as well. And I've got a little quick latch thing um, for that as well, so that'll be adjustable. Uh, it's it's some similar kind of thing you have to adjust a bike seat. Um, like it's a product I got from Grizzly. If anybody's interested, I'll, I'll link it. I think they were like eight bucks a piece or something. <clears throat> um, steering wheel. This came from uh, oh, Speedway, I think. And it wasn't quite exactly the right bolt pattern. This is a car steering wheel. But uh, I just had to file out the holes a little bit to make them fit. This is a standard steering kit from me and my carts. Um, <clears throat> I cut this rod right here to uh, accommodate the length I needed. And these are actually two collars tacked together on either side um, to attach this rod to a uh, a spline rod end. This was a little two inch piece I bought and I actually cut a little bit off of it as well. It's holding pretty tight, but we'll see how well that holds up. Um, I did that in lieu of welding it because I'm not really sure how well this is going to work out. So I kind of wanted to be able to at least reuse this piece if I had to redo it. Um, <clears throat> this here is the used uh, steering shaft kit you can get from BMI. They, they say it comes off return cards. You get the whole thing for 28 bucks. Um, but it wasn't long enough. So I, this piece was originally all one unit. So I cut it right here, spliced in this piece of D shaft, welded it in. Um, and it seems to be doing what it's supposed to. I still got some things to do on the steering. It's still kind of loose down there. And I need to uh, shorten the boots on the steering uh, the steering rack because they're binding up the way I put this thing in. That, how I did that, the steering rack is updated in a post on the forum. So that's steering for now. Um, this ended up longer than I kind of hoped. The steering wheel's loose, that's why it's like that. But it wasn't quite as solid as I had hoped for. I kind of wished I'd put some gussets up here or something. Um, I'm really not sure if that's where the flux comes from. It's pretty solid still, but it could be better. Um, coming back here, 
I've been trying to get this little transmission mounted. This may not turn out to be a good idea because this is probably a heavier cart and it's definitely a bigger engine than what these are probably meant for, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I've got a mount back here. It's just tacked in place. This is a piece that came with the transmission. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure I like what I did here because I, I can't really get a wrench in anymore. So I may have to cut this bottom piece right here and do something different so I can at least get a closed in wrench up in there. Um, so still got some tinkering to do there. This thing's kind of mocked up. Um, I went out of my way to put the pivot point for this this mount here where the where the axle is. I'm sorry, the jack shaft is. The goal there was so that once this is adjusted here, it will pivot in the same orientation everywhere with this sprocket to this sprocket. And uh, you know, so once that's adjusted, it'll stay adjusted. And then I can adjust this up or down to tighten the chain down to this sprocket down here. So that's the theory. Um, <laughs> you know, these things are all, try it and see how it works. Uh, I'm not sure I'm liking how this is looking. It, I'm wondering if it's gonna be stable enough. Nothing, none of this is tightened up, but we'll see. I still have to make a piece, an adjustable piece that goes from here down to here somewhere. It'll be very similar to this stock setup that came with it. Just a nut and a bolt. Well, adhere to adjust it two nuts. Um, so we see how that goes. My goal today is to get this finished up, get chains on it. Um, I'm gonna jack up the swing arm here and get the tires off the ground and see how, how it all works. But it's a neat little transmission. It'll be great if it holds together. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'll do next, but uh, We'll see what happens. So I'm pretty close to having the drivetrain put together here. Still have to hook up cables. Still have to get the brakes going. I've got the MCP brake kit. Rotor will be over here. Um, and uh, I'm going to try to get the caliper mounted today. And the next thing is to start mocking up controls. Still got to work on pedals. Still got to get brake lines run. Um, Quite a bit, but I want to have this thing rolling and going on its own by Friday because my kid's been begging me to get this ready for a parade, a little tiny local parade that comes up so he can ride it in the parade. So kind of need to come through on that. I don't know if we'll get it painted, but I'll at least get, hopefully get everything put together, functioning, burned in. I still got a lot of welding to finish out. A lot of this is still just tacked together, so. Anyways, that's where it's at. Thanks.